All right, so I've got a few toys out today. Just wanted to break out this little uh, bug detector type tool. And I showcased what came in the box the other day with an unbox video. And basically this is a little bit of something that can detect various types of possible tracking devices. For example, uh, if you own a business, this could be helpful to you. If you're afraid customers, for example, might be illegally planting cameras in the bathroom or something like that, this could help you detect those if they're wireless cameras especially. Because what it does is it offers this signal detection uh, option. So it has a few different modes. I showcased the modes the other day. Uh, it also has a uh, magnetic field detection for things like GPS, um, but you could also use the signal detection to find various types of transmitting devices that you might not know are there. So if you own a business, as I mentioned, or otherwise, if you're just curious about what may be transmitting in the area you're in, one of these is a affordable little device, and if you don't have other tools and you just are basically starting off with things like this and have an interest in privacy, uh, this could be an interesting tool for you. So let's go ahead and do some demonstrations with the signal detection today. Uh, so what I have out right now is the HackerF. I also have a Baofeng radio and a remote control to a fan. So what I can showcase is that the signal detection does in fact work. If you note, it's not going off right now, but if you set the sensitivity too high, it's of course going to pick up your cell phone in the area. So I moved my smartphone about maybe 25 feet away to prevent it from going off from that. Hopefully at least it won't go off from that. So if I turn on the Baofeng here, and let's say, you know, we want to you know, see if something transmitting. Now this is a powerful device. It's a Baofeng radio, of course. This is not gonna be like, say, a hidden bug type uh, transmitting power. Now on the other hand, you can more so mirror that with the Hacker F, and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. But with this, I can just do a quick demo. When I hold the push to talk button, it transmits, and you'll be able to see this go off at that time. So let's just pretend I'm a hidden bug somewhere that a criminal planted or maybe an illegal investigation from a private investigator who's not licensed, something like that. You might, you know, find something like this handy. I just wanted to, thought it'd be a neat video to share with you guys, so I bought it. Not that I needed it, but it's basically an RF detector, so, you know, if RF signal is transmitting strong enough, it will go off. So let's go ahead and test it out. I am a bug, and I am listening to you. Okay, so that worked very well, as you can see, and of course I'm in close vicinity. It's a much more powerful device. Let's go ahead and take a look at something else. For example, this fan remote here. Let's take a look at that. So I have it set at the four bar setting here. You have one, two, four, or five bars. You can set it at different sensitivity settings. So if it's going off constantly, turn down the setting and that way it won't go off on random items and random things around the house. It's gonna go off on your router, it's gonna go off on your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, anything transmitting, it's gonna go off, especially if you have the sensitivity high enough. So let's go ahead and see what this fan remote does. If I press the button here, well, got to get a little closer. So depending on the power level of the transmitter, um, it may not go off. So I'm pushing it far away. Let's see how close it gets on this setting. There we go. Let's go a little higher. So a couple inches away, it detects something of this power level. That's good to know. Now on the Baofeng, on the other hand, if I hold the push to talk button, it will, if I move it around even as far as six feet, uh, which is, you know, about as far as I can get while somewhat on camera. Uh, if I hold that in, as you note, and I'm holding it very far away now, uh, it still goes off because it's a high powered radio. Now, on the other hand, let's go ahead and take another look at the HackRF because that's always a fun device and it's a good way to mimic something that might be, say, a hidden microphone or a hidden camera that 
say a criminal planted in your business, uh, of course, you know, and not only that, uh, here's another thing related to modern tech um, with criminals out there are doing you've heard of those ATM fake ATMs where it captures your uh, card because it has a fake you know, face on the ATM. Well, now what they're actually using is Bluetooth. So if you had a device like this, you may possibly be able to find, you know, something that's amiss. But really, you know, I'm not sure how an ATM is put together, so it might go off anyway. But you'd have to try that out for yourself and see if, say, a Bluetooth skimmer, uh, which is what they're using now, a lot of them use Bluetooth skimmers, and what that does is, and this goes for everything, every type of bug can be planted to have a wireless transmitter to pick it up and then relay it again. So that way the crook, in this case, wouldn't need to get too close to the scene of the crime anymore because they plant a transmitter that then relays it to another possible relay and another. And then, of course, they have their receiver that collects all that information. So something like this can help you detect various types of wireless transmitters, you know, be it a hidden type of camera that a crook put in your business or something else. Um, let's go ahead and open up the replay app and I will do a demonstration with that with this X13, which is the name of the device. So if I go to replay, uh, what I'll need to do is first open the file, go to the plus there. I recorded this earlier, so it's some signals. And the Hacker F is a low powered transmitting device, so it can be more so close to, say, a hidden transmitter that isn't transmitting for miles, something that's close vicinity, uh, say, several yards of transmission, possibly they have a receiver on there, maybe something that relays that message uh, to another device to capture. So we open the file here. I can put it on a loop if I want, but let's go ahead and just stick it up here and go ahead and play this. And what that's gonna do is start the transmitter and this can kind of mimic the kind of thing we're looking for. See that? Right as the signal shows up on the screen, so this makes the Hacker F a perfect tool to combine with this. Now let's see, on the other hand, see if I pull it away, it doesn't show up, but if I get closer, well, didn't pick that little one up. But, you know, it works. The point is it works. Those were just simple uh, button captures, so if something was actually transmitting voice or video, the signal would be much more powerful, much stronger RF emitted, so that would have been picked up. So that was very light transmissions right there, very small, um, didn't give off quite as much, so it wasn't detected as much. Let's go ahead and do it one more time. Put it on a loop this time, and then I will hit the play again. So we go ahead and just watch that screen. So as it starts to transmit, you can see and then watch, I'll pull it away and let's just see how far it goes. So it doesn't go that far on this setting, uh, but I'm maybe a half inch. And the smaller, you know, transmissions aren't getting picked up on this setting. And I was afraid to pick up my phone. So let's go ahead and turn some of these settings up. Let's see what this one looks like if it picks up further. So there we go. And each time that signal transmission goes out, you're gonna see this beeping and blinking here. But the smaller transmissions are not being picked up on that setting. So we go down, let's try this lowest setting here, and let's see what happens if I hold it right up to it and see if it can still pick it up on the bigger transmission. So it doesn't really pick up anything. Oh, there it is. So it does pick it up but you know, not very far away. So if someone was to use this to sweep for different types of, let's go ahead and stop that now. So if someone were to use something like this to try and sweep a room, uh, they'd wanna you know, play around with these settings, these different sensitivity settings, move it up, move it down, just see. If it's going off like crazy, you're gonna wanna turn down the sensitivity, of course, because it means it's picking up your cell phone, smartphone, things like that. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. 
Appreciate you guys following the channel. Make sure to share this video with everyone so they can see that devices like this actually can work if it's the right tool for you. So that's what I got today, guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this video? Do you want to see another like it? I might do another type of demonstration with this device. So we'll see. I might do some experiments and we'll see how it goes. So make sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.